Hello everyone, this is uh, one eight over for volleyballplaystorun.com. Uh, this is concerning a lot of questions that I have about my system. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and answer a little bit. Uh, the bomb volleyball offensive system by itself is a system. I also have a book, um, <clears throat> an ebook, excuse me, uh, called the volleyball offensive system. All of my 26 systems come from this. So I'm actually going to try to explain some of the questions without actually giving the sec secrets out. Okay, it's gonna, I'm going to be very brief. Number one, um, this is just something about my system. I actually had to cover everything here for a reason. The setter doesn't matter. The areas, this is what I call the areas, um, can be changed into many different ways. There's a level, which is the main level for those areas. And they can be changed to different area, different dif different sets in level one and level two. You can change all of them at once. When I mean all of them, I don't mean all of this ones. I mean each level. You can change each level. Excuse me. You can change each level. Uh, you can change one area, or you can change all areas. One level at a time. Okay. Um. Of course. This is some awesome information that I had to omit, but there's a secret here, and there's a secret here that goes with it on how to uh, change each part of the the sets. Okay, now here's one thing that I want to talk about: the actual place. Here's where everybody I have gotten most of the questions on. They cannot, people cannot figure out how can I have six thousand plays and call play a certain play and people will remember it or let me explain it okay the system has anywhere from five to seven letters like this okay when you use them in combinations they become pound plays direct plays piston plays crossing plays double crossing plays slides and others other type of plays okay i have eight type of plays in my system now, this, the place can go from all the way from 1 to 6,000. I would not call play 3 and expect people to remember, uh, okay, what play was 3? No, I would actually just call RTE. That is the play. And this is where a lot of people get confused. I would not call play, uh, I would not say, okay, number 9. No, I would say RRT. And by these three letters, it will tell everybody on the team, front row and back, who's going to go first, second, third, which area to go to, and which set to hit in that particular area. If, for example, I would not call play, okay, let's go ahead and run play 2034. No, I would just call play GST. See? And this is where a lot of people, this is, the numbers are irrelevant. Okay? The numbers is just to say, to mark how many plays I have. This is what's irrelevant. Okay? So, FDE could be paid 5930 but you would not know it. Because all I'm calling is FDE. Now, for the back row, because you already have the basic knowledge of the, now this is just an example, okay? Because you already know what these letters mean, it's easier. It's easy now to include the um, back row in three different type of plays. One is a spiking play, two is a setting play or a double set, and three is an actual decoy, pretending to be to go somewhere. Okay, and here's the last thing that I want to talk about. We have sets just like everybody else the same sets you have the areas are the ones that change we have levels which can change uh, for example if you if you always hitting a high ball you know on the outside and you wanted to change it to a shoot or you wanted to change it into a rainbow or you wanted to change it into something else then the, you would have to look to the setter okay but what if you want to change all of them at the same time you that's what makes this system unique that you can actually do that to those areas 
Now routes routes are the most special ones. Okay, I have eleven routes. There are actually different sets in different areas, run by different type of players. We also have plays for the setter in the front. In the, of course, for those of you who don't know what I mean, that means when you have only two hitters, and of course the rest of the hitters are in the back row. And the setter in the back row, of course, you know, not to insult anybody's intelligence, but for those who do not know, because I've been having questions about this, it's when the setter's coming from the back, and you have the three front row players, hitters, and you also have two hitters in the back. Okay. Um, the last two questions that I've been asked is, um, well, not basically asked, but kind of went through that is, uh, I'm, this is a hobby to me. Even though it's a hobby to me, I made the website because I used to get a lot of coaches that would call me for the system. So that's why I made the books. And because it, and I do sell them. I do sell the books. Um, I do sell them to a lot of middle, sc middle schools, mostly high schools, but mostly universities. And I always, they always tell me about how they're doing and, you know, that's how I know it works. You know, um, another thing is that, um, like I said, it's not a business. That's why you don't see me, you know, having ads all over the place other than what's Twitter, you know, uh, YouTube, uh, my own website, you know, certain little things just to help out. Why? Because 33% of all the sales that I do get, which are not a lot, they go for my favorite children's um, charity. Okay, I've been doing this since the start of 2008. So it does go for a, uh, a good cause, you know. So um, most of the questions that people ask me are very ridiculous that I will not spend my time answering those type of questions. So um, I'm going to have another video later explaining the other parts of the system. So hopefully this helps a lot.